What is up guys, Tony here, Positive Tech Reviews. And in this video, we're gonna be reviewing ZTE Blade ZMAX. So I got this phone about two weeks ago, and I'm here to talk about the things I do like about it, what I don't like about it. And we're just gonna go right through the specs real quick. Don't get stuck on the specs because um, this phone is actually pretty good for what it's offering. It's only $129. Metro PCS or you can just uh, you can port over and you can probably end up getting it for like $29 or you could even get it for free it's very easy to unlock mine I actually just went and got one month of service I paid $129 got the one month of service and then I just unlocked it and I'm using it on T-Mobile so it is unlockable you can use it on any GSM network so let's go ahead and talk about the specs real quick you can see that it does have a big beautiful six inch display it also has a fingerprint reader on the back it has a dual camera setup so it's offering a 16 megapixel camera and along with a 2 megapixel camera for the bokeh effect you can have like a bokeh effect also it does have an 8 megapixel camera up front and has an earpiece and you can see where it does have some kind of ambient sensor sensors there it does have touch capacity capacitive buttons on the bottom which you can rearrange which i thought was pretty cool so you do have some custom ability on this phone so you do have it's running android 7.1.1 with august security update or security patch which is real good fingerprint on the back if i didn't mention that and the only um the only downside that i can really say about this phone would be this right here which is the speaker speaker placement speaker location whatever you want to call it it's not only in a bad spot but it doesn't sound real good so it does have a usb type c and it does also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which the audio quality has uh, dolby audio which sounds real good so i've plugged in uh, some headphones some wired headphones obviously to test out the quality within these two weeks and i have to tell you that the sound quality coming out from the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is actually real good. It also does support um, SD card, so you can add an SD card up to 128 gigabytes. So this right here is what they call a hybrid SIM, which you can have the SIM card and the SD card together in one tray. So they're calling it the hybrid tray. So it is a phenomenal device in the sense that you do get your bang for your buck or like I said if you pour it over you can probably get this free or $29 I can't remember how it is but you actually get and you also have every time you get a notification you it will light up and show you your notification and also you do have on the bottom here when you get notifications right here where the home button is let me see if I can show it Let's see if it'll light up where here's the home button it actually pulsates so it's like a when you get a notification it'll actually light up so that is pretty cool i like that i also like that it lights up when you do get a notification and you get to see them you can you can set that all up all in there but it's actually running uh, android nougat 7.1.1 which i'm about to show you right there there's some information android nougat 7.1.1 with august security patch update it is pretty much bare bones stock android with maybe a tiny bit of uh zte skin on it not huge um, right now I'm, I'm running nova launcher i always use nova launcher basically on all my phones but nova launcher is what i'm running the skin that it comes with is not bad it's a uh, stock it's like stock android uh you don't you don't it doesn't come with the google now cards where you swipe over to get to the google now cards it's not that launcher but you can like i said this is android you can customize it you can add any launcher you want so my uses with this phone now that i got uh sort of all the specs out of the way it's using a snapdragon uh, 435 so snapdragon 435 it also has two gigs of ram with 32 gigabytes of internal storage and let me see it does have a six inch 1080p, 1080p IPS LCD display which is very good the display is actually very good um, it, it gets pretty bright it's not the brightest display but it does get pretty bright it is very viewable outdoors and what else can I say about this 
as far as the operating system and using this phone for about two weeks, it's been real good. Call quality has also been excellent. Um, people can hear me on the other end. I can hear them nice and clear. So call quality is very good. The downside would would only be, in my opinion, there would be like two two things that I can just point out and just to let you know heads up that you're gonna find that is is you're gonna notice right away and they're like they may be a disappointment but I'll just get them out there so one is gonna be like I mentioned the speaker on the bottom the placement the location and also the quality that comes out of it it gets loud where you can hear it but it's tingy there's like the tones are not there and it's gonna be the optical image stabil stabilization on the rear 16 megapixel camera which is it does real good with still shots like you can take photos photos come out nice and then they come out real good actually i was actually impressed with the photos where it tends to lack a little bit is going to be with stabilization uh like if you're in motion in your video recording it's it, you're going to definitely notice that it's not going to be where it needs to be since there's no optical image stabilization on it i don't even think there's any uh, electronic image stabilization on it I'm not sure I'm not 100% don't quote me on that but that's where I noticed little hiccups here and there speaker quality um, the camera optical image stabilization is not the greatest it does take real good photos uh, with the rear camera the video quality is also pretty good and when recording video on here um, I, I want to point out that the microphones are not going to be top-notch but that is expected uh, once uh, $129 so we do have one microphone on top which you can see right there then we have one microphone on the bottom and that is going to be for that is going to be it for the microphones so it does record audio which it's better than the iPhone in my opinion the iPhone is definitely uh, muffled out when you're recording that's why I'm using an external mic right now while I'm recording with the iPhone but I have an external mic plugged in so I always have to carry that when I record with the iPhone 7 Plus, but with the ZTE, since the audio is not the best, but it definitely definitely sounds better than the iPhone, uh, you don't have to do that. You know, you can get by with using the, the audio from e Blade Z Max. You, the audio is like the video recording audio is not the greatest, but it does it does the job. It'll work. So another thing that I can point out on here, as far as software, it's been real good. After about two weeks I definitely started noticing lag you'll see the lag like if you have a bunch of applications opened up you're gonna see the lag and you're gonna you're gonna notice the lag I'm gonna be honest with you the the snapdragon 435 and the two gigs of RAM I wish it would have had at least three gigs of RAM minimum um, but with the two gigs of RAM and the 435 and running a bunch of applications in the background having multiple windows opened up you're gonna you're gonna notice lag i'm gonna be totally totally honest i did notice lag and that was that's why i'm pointing it out i just i'm, I'm reviewing this phone and i want to be legit with you guys i noticed lag so um other than that the phone battery life on here is actually real good i'm not getting two days even with uh, moderate usage but i'm getting at least a, a full day and a half and i Considering the battery size, which is a 4,080 milliamp battery, I would say that is real good for a, a device with a six, six inch display, 1080p. So um, there are a lot of other devices out there like the Moto, what is it? The Moto E4 Plus, which has a 5.5 inch display. Uh, the battery life is much better on there in my usage. I have that, that phone also but it is a 720 display so if you want a better display and you're, you're considering a little bit less battery life then go with this one the zte blade z max but if you want if you prefer a lower resolution screen and maximized battery life then the moto e4 plus is the one i would i would go with even though it has a smaller display and a lesser resolution display which is 720p the battery life on that phone is actually two days strong two days and a half almost so um, the fingerprint reader you guys can see one two three one two three but it gets the job done it is damn well very accurate so fingerprint reader very accurate boom boom every time it's like 99% of the time it, it, it'll unlock the phone 
Um, so overall, I'm actually very happy with my ZTE Blade ZMAC uh, for the value that this phone actually offers. You're going to get a great phone, uh, great build quality. I love this backing on here. I have a case for it, but I, I love going without the case. Uh, just the feel of this back, it just feels real, real good. It's plastic. Uh, the build quality will confuse you. you think, you'll think that it actually has an aluminum frame, but it's not. It's actually plastic. But the build quality is real good. For $129, you're getting good build quality. You're getting a good, beautiful 1080p display. Um, the cameras are real good. The front-facing camera, not excellent. If, you're, if you think you're going to get excellent camera quality from $129, uh, dollar device this is eight megapixels it's gonna come close it's gonna come close it's not gonna wow you but it does have excellent cameras in the front and the rear as far as taking still shots like I mentioned the audio and image stabilization is one thing that I have to point out in my review that uh, I was not real happy with but um, that is expected I would say with a $129 phone you're not gonna get everything on a 129 phone this phone for the price point comes really really close and if you're able to pour over to, to metro pcs you're getting a fantastic deal so overall my review for this phone on a scale of one to ten would i recommend this phone uh, out to anyone out there who's not only heavy media consumption but they like taking photos still shots definitely this is one that you should go out and get go out and try it be your own judge i'm just giving you my opinion and my usage with the phone what how it's been handled up to me everyone is different so these are just my views my experience with this particular phone and i have to tell you that that everything that i mentioned in this video is 100 percent accurate with it with my usage you know as far as the camera and the audio and speaker and all that good stuff but another thing i wanted to point out is that i do test gps on all my phones I may not mention it on all my all my videos but I will mention that the GPS on the ZTE blade Z max is a real good one it's very accurate I've used it several times I just can't get over this back though the back of this phone feels real good and with that being said this is going to be my review with the ZTE blade Z max if you guys are interested in this particular one I'm probably going to end up uh, posting it on Swappa because I have two of them so I'm going to keep one and I'll be selling the other so if you're interested in that I will have a link a Swappa link down in the description below where you can pick this one up um, it is unlocked so it'll work on any carrier um, it's not a mint condition phone it does have some very light scratching that I forgot to mention um, I did buy this phone I used it for like one week without a tempered glass screen protector on it and it's using it's not using Gorilla Gorilla Glass 3 or anything like that it's using something called Dragon Trail so it's a something it's been out for a while just it's not really really been talked about a lot because mostly everybody goes with a uh, Gorilla Gorilla Glass so Dragon Trail is the glass that they use on here it's pretty durable when it comes to drops and stuff like that but in my usage uh, it scratches fairly easy so i just want to point that out uh, dragon trail on the zte blade z max great when it comes to drops but scratch scratch is pretty easy so i do have some very light scratches which you probably can't even see you probably won't even be able to see them uh, when the screen's lit up uh, maybe when the screen's off, but they're very light. And yeah, I just wanted to point that out also. But with that being said, guys, that's going to be it with my review. If I forgot anything, uh, comment down below. Let me know. Um, I think I about covered everything. So yeah, that's going to be it for my review on the ZTE Blade Z Max. Go out and pick this one up, guys. This is a good phone. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.